All right. Good luck. It'll be more than that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so how are you doing today, Mr. LeBay? I'm doing good. I'm ready to uh, ready to rock. What okay. do you want to work on today? Um, you know what? I mean, we've kind of been going through these elements and you know, kind of making the techniques that we're looking at harder and harder and harder. I think tonight we're going to start looking at Mushidori, and I potentially also really want to get into Ujiaku, you know, which I think is a really good. It's just more of a simpler technique. It has its own idiosyncrasies. Um, but really can amplify the elements really well in there. So. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, it's, it's good that we're going back to revisit Lucidori because it can actually be deceptively tricky. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and the, here comes so our there, robot. Here comes the vacuum. Comes the, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, uh, it, it can be a little bit tricky. Right. And, uh, and so we'll look at trying to maybe clean that up some for folks as, yep. they, as they work on yep. this. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And, and I think this is going to be, you know, an interesting one for us as an instructor because you know, with, this is one of those ones we can easily get into, you know, the technical aspects of the throw, but with the purpose of the class being to kind of get the emotions, um, this would be a good test for you and me. Oh, well, we'll yeah. see if we can oh, do it. That's, <laughs> that's the vacuum. That was, oh, yeah. There you, Roomba. We maintain a yeah, clean exactly. environment. All right. All right, let's head Take care, bud. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Wednesday, everybody. Um, so, to kind of continue with what we've been looking at in these elements, fire, um, earth, wind, and water. We're going back to the top and we've kind of beaten up the wrist a little bit the last couple of weeks, so tonight we're just going to beat up the shoulder a little bit more. We're going to look at this, this mushadori. Um, Chris, can I borrow you real quick? And so just so we, we're just going to practice kind of the stick figure of it just to start, to get kind of warm, but to start from a grapple. Um, I'm going to pick the side that my arm is over. Okay, it could be over, over. But I'm just going to step off the side, we adjust. Just get to here. Don't bother about taking them down right now. Just feel free to here. Get it right there. All right. What I don't want to see is people here and trying to pull the arm. It won't work. You're going to really need to get more parallel to them, and it will come right up. Actually, focus on actually instead of picking their elbow, extending your arm out, and that will do it. Okay. Anybody want to see, feel? All right. Let's get to work. Mate, uh, I want to give a quick reminder to folks that it's not an overhook, Mr. Matt Ferrari. Um, it's not an overhook. Uh, here's how an overhook looks. I'm shooting this over and I'm kind of bending my elbow and trying to get control of this arm tight to me. What happens here is, hold on, I'm just not going to get a uh, Mushidori. But that's all. An overhook is not a bad thing. It's just not what we're working on right now. What I'd like you to try to imagine is, what if this was actually a longer, curvier, sinkier kind of technique? Where instead of, well, look how the mat's not affected yet, he's not affected yet, he's not affected yet. Okay, now I might start affecting him. He's going to be pretty strong. I want to start affecting him early. So we're starting to lean, to lean into this, starting to push it off off to the side. It's kind of curving around a little bit. Ooh, now we're looking pretty good. Uh, there's a big difference. And go through it slow so you can feel the difference. Really important to go slow and feel the difference. Uh, but as opposed to trying to muscle this in with your arm strength, which is more of what we're doing with your book. So, does that make sense? Yes. Anybody need to feel or see? You guys good? Yo, Mate. Mate. So this is deceiving. Matt, can I borrow you real quick? This is a deceiving technique because it really, really looks like, can you shove the sides so you can get the camera here? Nope. Is this, getting this arm, and people have a tendency to cut it short, and they get to here, and they try to pull up, and man, it's just, I think we've all gotten there. Am I correct? We just tried to reef on it a little bit more. So I'm going to encourage you, like Mr. Lincoln, get more behind it, but I want you to open up more. So notice my angle now with Matt. I'm here, I'm, we're here. We're about 60 degree angle. I'm not even parallel to him. All right? If I get parallel to him, there's one thing. If I get over parallel to him, oh, that's even another thing. Okay? So see if we can actually concentrate less on this arm and almost think of this as a fulcrum to which his elbow is going to rotate around as I walk behind him with his hand to here. Now I see. Or I did not the whole way. You see what I'm saying? So change your mentality. Instead of focusing on the elbow, focus on, or actually I'm gonna need my arm up, focus on taking this hand back here. As this is right here, his hand is now going behind his elbow because my body is putting it back there. All I have to do is shake the person's hand in front of me, sink down, and I'm okay. All right, and I don't have, I'm not putting a ton of effort in it. I'm not trying to bicep curl a man's arm off. 
Very hard. Very hard. Does everyone see what I'm saying? All right, give it a shot. This will feel a lot easier if you get it. Promise. Okay. Uh, let's talk about our weight, our weight dispersion. Did Ms. Miles have already? Let's talk about our weight dispersion and what we're doing with our arms a little bit more. Uh, so one thing I, I, I've caught is, uh, catch you guys, uh, is ending a little shallow. One of the things that will happen is that sometimes folks will leave their, their elbow bent and they'll kind of keep it bent. And what happens here is I have, uh, even if your body moves good here, you haven't really consolidated that. If I try to roll this over here, all he has to do is literally step back and, <laughs> I mean, I'm in, he can step that way and like literally put me in the, in the arm bar over the top. We don't want to, we don't want to give them the solo already because we're trying to get them shut up, right? So make sure that when you're entering for this, that the arm strings and slides. I like to roll it over and make sure that my elbow slides down to about where his elbow is. That's generally a good, a good rail sight approach to doing this. Uh, if you're just picking a gun and fire, that's how you do it. <laughs> so, uh, as we go, the other thing that I notice sometimes is folks get to here, where you can kind of see me on my heels, yeah? Has anyone had that experience? <laughs> where we're starting to try to apply the technique and it just sort of starts to pull you back on your heels. It means you haven't brought your hip through enough. So, let's make sure that our hip rotates through all the way. If Miles steps away, <laughs> that extricates himself, here we are. We're, we're kind of evenly weighted. We have our balance over kind of the balls of our feet somewhat, and we're in a happy place. If I under rotate, here we are, everything's looking good. Now I'm cutting off that rotation. I'm trying to lift with my arm. You can start to see how it pulls me out over my heel. And that's not quite what we want. We want to have control over where this goes after the fact. And especially when we start looking at doing this with other elements, we want to make sure that we have a good sense of balance throughout. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, Mate. Mate. So, we could spend a week, plus we're just looking at the intersections of just this lock. That's not this phase. This phase is more getting on these elements that are behind the emotions behind the lock. We want to go through the lock because, yes, if you can see, it's a precarious position in there. Somebody went out with some, you know, real aversion and really went in there hard, and you're not in a great position. You're gonna, you're gonna have a your shoulder's not going to feel great in the morning. Yeah. All right, but, so we kind of warmed up on that. So we're going to start, so we're going to look at this water to start. Water, for those who don't know it, has this collapsing, you know, this kind of this gathering and this collapsing kind of aspect to it, okay? The moves we gather and then we collapse. So, we're here. I'm going to gather. Oh my God, that water. Here's what it's going to do. I'm going to collapse. This will be hard, okay? But if the angle's right, it won't be. Notice I'm not doing this with that. I'm not just picking his arm up. I'm stepping through. It's the, really the water aspect that I'm using that's making this work. If you don't have, if you're not doing this in water, this won't work well. Gather, moving off the side. Oh, no. Whoa. It's my body coming from here, stepping forward with this whole side. I'm not just using my arm. To get that end angle. All right, so we can see the gathering, gathering, <sighs> spilling over. All right, and I think I can say this is not the most preferable place to fight from. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does everyone want to feel it? See it again? See it again? All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, full speed? Okay, go. <laughs> so, Man. Oh no, CJ, why? I thought we were friends. Hold on, buddy. Oh. Alright, and just for those people who want to know, the way to take it out from here uh, is I'm actually going to step back with this leg or sink down under this knee. <laughs> and bring it right down to the ground with this elbow still up here. Right. We're not going to practice that part. That's a later class. Anybody else want to see feel? All right, let's get to work. For, for two minutes, let's make this a, let's make this a hair easier for two minutes. Just for, just for two minutes, uh, we're going to
to get back to the water movement side of this, where we're sort of uh, uh, retreating a little bit, but we have to recognize, I should say, one of the big things I'm seeing is folks are stepping off out of here, and they're finding themselves in this spot, we're seeing the hips swivel out and, then, and their way away. Um, there is a sense of pulling him into it now that, that didn't exist as strongly in the last version that we did. So for two, just two minutes, uh, what I'd like you to practice is just dropping this over on one side and bringing him with you a little bit. Just practicing that part. Uh, we'll, we'll add in that, that water movement here in just a moment, but we're letting this drop and we're walking this forward. This is, that is the feeling we're trying to achieve right now. Ooh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Um, no, good adjustment, Mr. Yeah. I just want to point out something. I mentioned this to a couple of people, I want to mention to you universally. Go into it the original way, please, and just and have the end angle. Okay, freeze. Hank's going this way, Mr. LeBay's going this way. All right, we've all come up short where we're here, and we don't have that. All right, I think I've talked to everyone, get to here. Now, go to the other version where you're stepping through. Still getting to the same angle. Do you see that? It's just how he goes about it. One leaning back to get the angle, one stepping forward and bringing him into that angle. But that angle is still there, it's still the same technique, it's just how he got into it is different. All right, so in this version, and thank you for pulling this back a little bit, is we're just actually instead of coming back into it, we're actually going forward into it. Okay? All right, good. No, good. good idea. Mate, and, and on this too, just if this makes life even a little simpler for you, bring on that, on this version. Um, what if. I just took a step and made his elbow go in front of his body this way. And that's the result. I'm going to pick, I'm going to take a step forward with this side, this whole side, so it means my arms pushing through. I'm going to step forward and pass his elbow right in front of his body, and I'm going to step through. If that makes it easier, there's a different way to look at it, try it. Okay, if it doesn't work, try the other one. Um, actually, move by your arm. I've seen everybody get into this at one point in time tonight. Um, part of it is because angling, part of it is just because, you know, you the whole thing. Like, where we'll get into this position, and we'll get here, and this person's like still actually almost holding on here. You know, it's like, oh, it's, in, it's just they get to contort themselves, they're strong, they're stiff, and it's like, ah, you know, don't feel like you quite have it. If you find yourself in that position, all right, have this angle at a 45 degree angle to the sky. And step back with the foot. Then we'll have him. That will take that shoulder more out of play. Right? Because from here, Arnie can hit me. Pretty forcefully, too, I might add. Alright? Just because, hey, he's strong, he tucked this in, maybe he's just tighter than the average bear, and I said, oh, damn. You know, I mean, Hank would have been turned all the way around 18 times for Sunday by now. But Arnie's a different ball game. Okay, no. Forty five degrees enough to back that leg, he's anyway just a little bit more safe. That's a punchy button. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Make sense? Right. So yeah, back to the watery version. This is really, really common right now. Jack, you can't play Mario. Um the uh, this is really common right now. So what what direction does water go? Back. Back away. Uh, off at an angle, it's defensive, it's distance gathering, it's time giving, that's what we're doing with water. And so it'll be funny, I'll, I'll tell people, say, okay, back it away, and they say, okay, Mr. Obey, back it away. Forward and <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I've seen that actually a lot tonight. So bear in mind, I've got a shorter partner, so I, if, if I back away with a big step, this will almost be, this will almost be ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, we'll make it big for the sake of illustration, yeah? So back and away. I'm moving back at 45 degrees. The reason why we have this sort of come along pole version of the Mushidori is because it works from here. Uh, I now don't have to go all the way around this way. I don't have to do that. We're, we've kind of stretched them out. We've changed the angle of this and now it's just nice easy rotation for us to enter there. Please do back and away. And this is water. This is not fire. And it's not earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy, yeah? Uh, get back to it. And again, by itself, this technique has a lot of components to it, and so don't be frustrated with the techniques. We're really looking for the emotional, that back and forward aspect of it in this, okay? 
So if you want to look at the technique, great. But just let me say that, that this class is not about that. This class is about the emotion that we're putting into the technique. Make sense? Great. Yeah, Mate. Yes. It's okay. Let's talk about what makes the water thing work here. Again, I, I know we're spending maybe, maybe a, I don't want to use the word inordinate, but we're spending a lot of time tonight on mechanics, which is, okay, sometimes, Mr. Brown, if, if, if I can say it. Uh, I, what I'm seeing is a, is a lot of kind of passable water, kind of passable. And what kind of passable looks like is I'm moving backward and I'm kind of like this. See how far his arm is away from me now, yeah? Everyone kind of sees that? What happens is I stepped at too much of a, a too shallow of an angle back and I didn't rotate my body to blade off a little bit. Remember, Ichimonji tends to project one side forward here, yeah? Now I want you guys to watch how close his arm gets to my body here because there's two things that can happen. One, I stay relatively flat. I move back at the proper angle, but I don't really turn my body. This is where I kind of end up. I now have to reach all the way over and around, and that's gonna be, yeah, you're, you're strong here. That's hard to do. I'm gonna rotate my body a little bit more, and what happens is this arm now, now falls almost along my chest. Now I have this nice, easy, vertical path right into that arm. Uh, so when you guys are doing water in the mirror, if I, if I said, all right, everybody, get what you want in the mirror, then what you would do is you'd do this. And that's good. What you're doing right now is this, which is passable water, but not hard water. It, it's hard it's, water. It's part water, part yeah. earth. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of part water, part earth. It's muddy. Yeah. And, and let, let's demud it by making sure that when we step off, that we angle ourselves as such that the arm, instead of being up here, now is much closer to here. This come along version works, this come along pole works when the arm is close to your body. I'm not gonna do the come along from here. No. I, if I, I go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be really, really hard for me to do that. Um, but if I can get it to here, oh, now that, now that works so much better. So much better. Does everyone see what I'm saying? Do you need to see a bit on that? Okay. Absolutely. Volunteer. Who wants? Who wants? Oh yeah! Here we go. So here we are. We're stepping out on the line. If I if I angle my body again, you see how close his, his arm is to my chest. Took my arm out. Um, if I don't angle, right now his arm is very far from my chest. Now if I were to choose to go this way, hey, that might that would actually work for me. Even then. You guys tell it's a little jangly. Instead, stepping out an angle, starting to rotate, change your line a little bit. Now this arm is right here. Now we're in a very fun place to, to start doing stuff. Yeah? Have fun. Monte. So this is for higher level belts. Whatever are you miles, real quick. Alright? If this makes sense to you as a lower level belt, wonderful. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. This is for high level belts. So, if I get into this position here and I just try to pull on his arm, that's as far as it's going to go. That is as far as his arm is going to go with this type of pressure. I have him at the, not the scene of the torque, but that's as much pressure as I can kind of get without totally screwing up my structure and going from there. I'm going to keep this pressure. I'm not going to increase it. But because of this angle, that's as far as it's going to go. We all see that. Not going to go any further unless I exert. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to drive it to his shoulder. Because of that, this pressure that he can exert back against me diminishes. And the pressure that I'm going, it doesn't increase, but it overtakes because he can't fight me now. So I'm just going to try and get his hand to his shoulder. Pressure is still the same, never changed. And this is what people see on this, is they see that this is an arm thing pulling harder and harder. No, it's the angular relationship that changes. That's what makes this happen. From here, cannot do it. That's as far as I'm going to get. Period. But the closer I get his hand, you can even see right there. It goes up further, right? You just put your own arm up there. Okay. Just put your own arm up there and try to turn. That's as far as you're going to turn. But if you get this hand close to your shoulder, oh, guess what? That thing comes up further now, doesn't it? That's what's changing. Not the pressure on the elbow. The pressure on the elbow is as much as I need it to be to hold it like a bird. Alright? Solid enough so it doesn't fly away, but not enough to crush it. Alright? 
I then change my relationship, bring this in. So it can't go like this, bringing his hand closer. And now he goes like this. Do you see that? And how do I bring his hand closer? I throw my shoulder. I throw my shoulder. Anyway. And that's why it works. Not more pressure, not more pulling. It, it can't. It's, it physically can't. You would have to be strong and basically try to break his elbow. You change the angle, you get his hand to his shoulder, boom, that will work naturally. Does that make sense? Okay, so upper little belt, I want you to practice. When you get into this, this position, as you're coming through with this fire aspect, don't think of bringing this forward. This will be forward because that side can work. Think of doing this, just off the offset, offside to side. Bringing his hand closer, so whoa, that just happens because of this, not because of that. Okay, does that make sense? All right, go ahead. Let's let's attack water by talking earth for a second. Oh. Let's attack water by talking earth. Yeah, like, like, let's do it again. Um, let's attack water by talking earth. Uh, so, earth is structure, right? Yeah, it's definitely structure. Everyone says resounding yes from the room. Uh, so, we're, so we're looking. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here we are. We've kind of done this water thing. One of the things I'm seeing is I'm is I'm seeing people start to give up their structure. Like right now. It's, you guys who have all been training, you can start to see where I'm starting to go wrong here a little bit, right? If Jackie steps away, there's my structure. Oh, uh, that's a little questionable. So for a second, let's play with getting them out, earth, with a little rotation, and see if we can keep our structure together. So we've been kind of playing with this water, windy, maybe fiery sort of re-entrance. Let's try an earthy re -entry. Let's go earthy and then we'll come back to water. And then, and then we'll yeah. come back. So it's still the same water stretch. Still the same water stretch. Nothing changes. But I want you to focus on your structure for a second. Use that up-down behavior. And so for those who don't know earth, earth is an up-down thing. Where water has kind of gathering and collapsing back in, earth is up and down. Up and down. Spine is just staying pretty much up and down. So we're moving off the side and just rotating, but still kind of keeping this up and down aspect as we move. Okay, it's a different feeling, different motion, like sturdy, strong. If I catch you here, <laughs> I'm going to say, first off, let's go to Bubba's. Yeah, yeah, that's a great yeah, dance move. Yeah, yeah. But also, I really like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Let's, let's amplify the earth side of things a little bit. Just a here, Mr. Miles. Let's amplify the earth side of it just a little bit. Uh, because what I'm seeing now, I'm seeing improvement. I'm seeing people focusing more on keeping their structure together, and I'm very happy. That's all I want. It's a big thing about what I want to see, but I'm also seeing us walk across kind of a weird walk where we're kind of getting out, we're getting here, and I'm seeing some folks kind of ending in this sort of spot right here where you, you might have some trouble. Let's use the down up part of earth movement as well, yeah. So we're getting to here, we're going to go down, up. <laughs> that puts, that, puts that, that force that you're generating through, through sinking your hips and bending your knees and bringing it back up for the guy. We're using earth, which is down up. Earth is solid too, and you guys all have it. I, I'm looking around and I was like, okay, good, everyone's got it. Now let's make this a bit more, a bit more down up. Mate, Mate, so, um, so my initial move, and we've, we've kind of, we've talked a lot about the arm and not necessarily a lot about the, the positioning on the initial move because in theory, it can, you can do this from anywhere, but it makes a difference on how you end up to make the whole thing normal. If I start this technique kind of here, all right, and I pull up, I now have to adjust my end angle to make this work, all right? Do we see that? I think if I have to do 180 degree rotation, I only do 10 on the first one, I need to do 170 on the second one. Um, and that's, up in it by itself, too much so it's actually trying to learn the emotions behind the whole technique. So, if you want, I'm going to ask you to go over here, slightly behind the, the side that you're going to. All right, step over here, all right, and then rotate like this thing, up and down. All right, you'll I feel so see a lot of people they are still they're kind of going here and they're getting they're getting kind of caught up right here. You know, they're in this position, they're trying to, you know, 
It's a, it's a wiggle and a wrangle all at the same time. So let's let's get the wrangling out of there. Go a little bit behind the foot here. Just move over there. All right, just, just take your whole body, just go over there, almost like you're almost going for like a Misoko Gake, and then do your rotation right there, back on the side of that foot. All right, and you'll be nice and, you'll be nice and okay. So Mate, uh, just one thing I wanted, uh, just a description on you real quick. So, just like before when I talked about, no, I'm just need your arm, just need your arm, buddy. Where if that as far as he's going to go, and if I, but if I push his hand in, he comes up like this. So remember that conversation from 15 minutes ago? We're only, I'm only talking about this plane. I'm gonna talk about this relationship and how this changes. Now, if I move this plane out to here, now, if I push that in, Chris collapses over me. That shoulder is still in play, isn't it? You can, you can put that shoulder right toward my face. Boom. Do you see that? That shoulder's still there. Now it's not. Right? That shoulder's not in play. So what I'm seeing is a lot of people are trying to do this from here in this relationship. They're getting this in here fine. The problem is that they're not releasing their shoulder. Hence the reason that I asked, Step back here. Put him on this back plane here. So now, when I stuck, when I bring his hand into his shoulder, it takes that one out of play, and he can't touch me as much. Do you ever see the angling, angling I'm talking about real quick? Mm -hmm. to, to clarify, because I think there might be a little bit of confusion, we have previously been stretching him out in water. Yeah. That's not what's happening. Right. No, this, we weren't clear about this. Yes, this is this yeah. is uh, this is full earth. This is. Moving over here, right? Turn. Maybe from here. This is not the water where we're going here and coming back through. This is earth. I'm moving over here, from two. Okay, make sense? All right, we've, we've altered the emotion. Mate, Mate, I'm calling it audible. A, to give your shoulders a break, but also the point of this class is to is to really understand these emotions that are here. Okay, so I'm going to change this startup. We're starting. Here. I'm not going for the arm anymore. I'm actually going to go for this uh, Ujiaku takedown. Just pretty pretty simple. Um, but I'm going to start from here. We're in this kind of position. All right, and we're going to look at this from an earthy standpoint to start. So again, up and down. I'm going to move in on his center line, bring this up to here, and just get in here. Okay. I'm going up and down, leaning him back. So I'm pulling a little bit on this. Change man, pushing him back, holding to here. Not dumping him at this point in time, just moving and taking this space. Notice I'm, per I'm perpendicular to him at the end, starting like this, shifting, moving, stepping, bringing this up here to push his shoulders back in here. Getting to this very earthy up-down standpoint, all right? Again, just trying to give your shoulders a break, but really trying to get this earth feeling. Does that make sense? You might want to feel it real quick. Starting here. I'm going to step in. Just getting right here. I think you can see through the rock. I'm thinking. All right. All right. All right. But again, just we're trying to explore the physicality of this. All right. Anybody else want to feel it? All right. Good. This is Earth. I'm gonna tamp it down. That was that was an earthquake. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I, I've I've seen it. Uh, yeah. So here we are. I've I've seen this a lot, uh, which is which is kind of this almost almost more fiery slash kind of way overdone Earth. Um, let's bring that like just remember Earth still has structure. It still has shoulders over hips. Yeah. Here we go. Now it's very easy for me to use that front leg. It's very easy for me to use that back leg. It's very easy for me to use hands. Uh, here, uh, I can't use my front leg. Not really, anyway. Uh, and if he lets go, <laughs> I can't know that wasn't what you wanted. Like well, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, so here we are. I, I want us. I want us to be here. Solid. Mm -hmm. Present. You are you are the mountain that has taken their space, yeah. and uh, 
That's the feeling. That's no, the his feeling. spine angle. His spine angle is up and down. Right. It's up and down. He's just taking that space and settling down. Mm -hmm. And he's having to adjust to that. He's not trying to plow through them. That is, that is not the case. We're taking space. And as a follow-up follow note, um, we get to here. Uh, Hank, where would you want to move your feet if you want to get yourself back on the hunts? Okay, pretty cool. Sweet. Notice that to, in order for him, he put his feet in the right spot, but now he's, this kind of couldn't come with him really, very really <laughs> well. Uh, cool, because it's very solid and attached to us. Uh, if we switch this up to kind of this, let's put your feet in the right place. Um, oh, you can start to see where kind of even Stevens may be at best for me, as opposed to this, which is now not even Stevens. And now we have, oh yeah, we have all this stuff. Cool, have a good. Sure. Mate, mate, Miles, mate. I'm not starting square to him and coming in like this. I have a big propensity to push him back. I'm starting to get, this elbow isn't attached to him. And what I'm gonna do, notice, I want to attack him on this line here. I'm not there yet. As I get to that, that's what changes things, all right? As I hold this arm a little bit and as I hold this elbow a little bit, it changes his angle and then I sit in there. All right, I'm not doing that. He was very nice to me. You knew you could have resisted that 18 times through. Again, so I'm not starting perpendicular, just bashing through. Yeah, stop to me. You can stop me on this. I'm kind of off here. Almost like we were going for something like this. I'm over here. I'm gonna rotate back in front of him. And then come this way and settle down, I feel. All right. So get off to the side and you start rotate to that position first. That will make your life a lot better. I promise. Okay. You'll be able to experience the whole aspect Mate, better. you get yet another break. <laughs> you get yet another break here real quick. So, um, uh, Miles, all right. So, so Mr. Mike's doing something that, that's, that's clever and I really want folks to, to see it and, and understand it. He's, he's, he's bringing this idea of, hey, you know, there's kind of this angular adjustment that goes on as part of what we're doing here. Which is why if we start like this, where we kind of already have our finish angle, and we just step in, that's, that's too one-dimensional. That's too one-dimensional, and if he resists, what ends up happening is I just push him away and there's no progression. Why? Because he has his structure. I'm pushing into a structure, it's very easy for him to keep that structure. Just fucking <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not just gonna take that. I'm not just gonna take that from him. Yeah. What Mr. White's doing is he's not starting from that angle. This is a, presuming a start where maybe we're a bit flatter to him. What happens is as there's this rotation, notice what's happening to his structure a little bit. That's that angular readjustment. And it's an angular readjustment of not quite 90 degrees. Doesn't have to be quite 90 degrees. That's breaking. But, but enough to get his trunk a little bit twisted, and now you're breaking him down on that angle. And it really doesn't look like a lot. It really, really doesn't. And it's very easy to miss, which is why I wanted to make sure we covered that one more time. Uh, so kind of resisting, straight in, not really getting there. Not really getting there. He's too, he's too alive. Granted, we're still in a not a bad position. We have a decent alignment. We could probably hit him in the balls. <laughs> but uh, as opposed to ooh, where, where that, that little pull really changes things somewhat. And that pull isn't your arm. It's your body readjusting its angle. That, is, does that hopefully kind of clear it up for everybody? Cool. Keep going. All right. Okay. So, uh, well, first and foremost, of course, come here. So, if you guys didn't have a chance to work with Port tonight, um, you know, give it the next time because it uh, comes bringing some experience in the past. You know, looking for a place to hang out with some pretty decent people. I think you guys are okay. I don't know what you think. Yeah. Most of you are all right. But, um, you know, commend you, and in our school, like, this is, this is an important belt, because we appreciate the fact that you had to rearrange your life, rearrange your night, you know, come into a place with people you don't know, you know, we could have just been a whole bunch of militant bastards, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, and uh, just say, oh yeah, it's fight clubs, you're just going to pound you into the ground and see if you come back. You, you have no idea, you took the chance, you took the risk, and free up your whole evening, and we appreciate that very much, so we like to make a big deal about this belt, and, uh, Congratulations, you did awesome. Put, put, no, put, put it on. You'll get used to it. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, 
Nice job, buddy. Uh, look at this guy. Nice job. So, uh, this was Yaku, so I said, I'm going to correct this from Scouting Ocean Dude. Uh, it was one of the ones I wanted to start looking at at the time going through this because there, there is obviously a little bit of um, aspects of that rotation selling, but this can be done very with all of the different all the different elements combined. And so I'm glad we got a chance to kind of go into it tonight. You know, saw people you know, kept getting wrenched. I'm like, okay, let's let's jump into this one now. You know, um, because <laughs> this Mushidori, just in and by itself is actually kind of technically hard. Um, and the point of it again was. The, it was to revisit it because we haven't seen it for a while, but really the point of it was I want to get the elements in here. I want to look at it from this water, earth, fire aspect. Um, and so we'll be looking at the same two things on Saturday, but we'll bring in the other elements. We'll look at, we'll look at this from a watery standpoint, from a fiery standpoint. Um, you know, all the ones that we can kind of get to tonight. We'll probably start with from here too, on Saturday. Um, any questions, thoughts? How are we feeling? Good, good. All right, this is the day. Oh yeah, no, uh, great job, everybody. Yeah, we definitely hit that point where uh, where it's it hits around seven o'clock. And okay, great switch parts. Everyone goes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, time, time to move on. Time to move on. Keep the cool shows beating on. Uh, th this is good. It, and it, to 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 kind of just echo what Mr. White's saying. Yeah, we 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 end up spending a lot of time on the on some of the mechanics tonight. That's fine to do. That's mm -hmm. a good thing. And. Uh, Sometimes it's nice to get to sit back, go to something a bit more, I'd say straightforward. Straightforward, yeah. um, straightforward and say, great, great, cool. Let's look at let's look at just an element and see how it how it expresses itself. So I'll be interested to watch the videos. I won't be here Saturday, unfortunately, but uh, but I'll be. Yes, I will. I lied. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, I'll time. be here. It's next time. Yeah. Uh, I'll be interested to see how you guys are doing this with water. Hmm. I'll be interested to see how this looks with wind, uh, earth, and fire. You guys can kind of see it's, it. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. definitely plays to that. Um, but uh, but. Ooh, maybe we can get it each way. Mm. That'd be awesome. Mm. So. And, and just to reiterate again, because I don't know if everyone's going to say any of this, I, I kind of alluded to before. Out of all the phases that we do, I personally think this is the hardest phase. This is the phase that you will have more frustration with than anything else. Just because we will be looking at things, and so you very, okay, we'll be looking the technicality and the, the physical structure of the aspect of the technique that we're looking at, you may or may not have. You know, and so we'll say, okay, don't worry about that kind of use the emotion. And you're like, oh no, but I want to get this first. I understand that. I get that. But that isn't kind of the point. The point is like what's what's kind of deep down and within. Which in those two things could lead to frustration. Okay? So please, if you come out of here at all frustrated, yeah, okay. That makes perfect sense. This is probably the hardest phase that we're and my dog's puking off to the side. You're not supposed to eat that small part, you know that. <sighs> okay. So um so please, if you're frustrated, you know, you probably should, should be a little bit, but don't take it to heart. This is the hardest one that we're going to do. So, great job, everybody. Ah, <laughs> damn it, Lana. <laughs> you know not to eat them when they get that small? Ah, oh, dumbass time.